Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the Project Zomboid playthrough, The Perils of Perry. And the last part, part three, was very emotional. Perry was bitten. He's battling pain, nausea, anxiety, but he's not got it in him. He didn't work as an axe man. He didn't work as a lumberjack for 20 years without having some balls on him, shall we say. So he is going to go out on his own terms. If he is going to go out, or if there's a cure, some sort of miracle cure, people out there working on it as we speak, maybe we need to leave town. Maybe we need to get that car going or a car going. So if we can hear over the TV while the power is still working or over a radio that there's hope, that there's somewhere we can go to, maybe we're going to need wheels to drive there. But if we are going to go out and there are other survivors in the surrounding area of Muldra, let's at least go out a hero and clear as many of these bastards away as we can, starting with this building here highlighted in green and that is where we're headed this morning at 8 50 a.m and god help any of those damn zeds that get in our way today because we've got a hammer for them and we're not afraid to use it can we repair it yeah we can repairing it in the middle of the street shows how blase Perry has become now. Over his predicament. What am I doing? Painkillers. Unequip. I know we're using them constantly, but let's not equip the painkillers, Perry. Let's take them. Wheezy. I'm not surprised, son. Bandage is, is now gone, just as we checked. Our wound is still not great. Oh my god, what's going on? Ah! <gasps> Garbage bag, equip secondary. Dear lord, what on earth? That's, that's what happened when we equipped the painkillers by accident. His mind is starting to go. Okay, fresh bandage. Start the day as you mean to go on, at least, Perry. Here we go. Here's the first son of a bitch who's going to get the, the wrath of what happened in the medical. Be gone, demon. Let's try and clear a path for the stall. Maybe bring some stuff back to the temporary base of operations in the hope somebody else stumbles across it and it could literally be a lifesaver for them this injury strength and speed reduced he was never the quickest guy to start off with strong yes so the lack of strength is a worry as we revisit the scene of horror where we took that what might be critical bite but we shall see we will not give up hope until all hope has disappeared. Creep to this intersection. We don't know what's on the other side in the car park. Remember the medical center was busy and this alleyway is busy too. Looks like we've dragged one in. We've got to be careful of how many we fight at the same time. Because of that reduced strength and speed. Might take more hits with the stomping with the hammer to put them down permanently. Oh, that one went down quick still. Just in time. This pink dress has just, just caught our attention. Yeah. 
No, I don't want to. I don't want to dance. Thanks very much. Thanks for asking. All right, let's let's clear this out. There's one over by the fence. The irony is, and Perry, it's not lost on Perry. We're probably gonna find all sorts of juicy items in this little store. And it sounds pathetic and obvious, but apart from that bite on the neck, which is pretty bad, pretty bad thing to happen, but apart from that, this would have been a pretty solid start and would give anybody hope. Even a cynical old lumberjack like Perry Hankin. Where's this waster who was just on the border of the fence? Don't know. They vanished. Couple in the street. We won't force the door yet. Let's try other window yet. Let's. Oh, of course it is. Try the back door, and we'll try and force this door. We'll smash a window if we have to. Oh, okay. I'm sure, we just walked behind this door, and there was nothing. How did Purple Shirt do that? What is this, Houdini? Yeah, uh, we're not in the... He's not in the mood anymore. Harry is not in the mood. Nope. Nope. Ah, I heard you behind me. crew now. One less. One parry. Ooh. Okay. Take a beta blocker. Ace yourself, son. Get rid of some of that anxiety. No, no, no. It's the best. No. No. Not like this. Not like this, Perry. Use your strength, boy. What you've got left in you, use it. Another one. Another one falls. Like this, not like this, Perry. Be gone. Get away from me! Son of a bitch. Not on my... Not today! We've got stuff to do. We may not have much time. But we'll go when we're ready. Show him who's boss, Perry. A last stand. You can give yourself a lot of pride from that. And while you're there, you should check to see if your leather jacket has any holes in it. It has not. But if we were to find goodies in this store, we would deserve every single one of them and the most comfortable exit, if we are going to be exiting this world of all time, because of what just went down outside this store. Louisville map. Seeing if any of them have any SIGs on them. Let's try this window again. I tell you what. We haven't got time. We want in. We deserve to be in. Money is no good to anybody these days. Leaks. 
Leeks would be nice. Ice cream. Wow. Juice box. Peanut butter sandwich. Get it down, you son. Love a PB sandwich. You deserve a nice meal after that. Wash it down. Wash it down with a juice box. Why not, Perry? We're going to try and treat you like a king. You deserve it after that. We could take some things... Back to the house. Wow. What was that? Almost as a treat. For anyone who, maybe in the future, like I say, stumbles across the house. Look at this. Uh, calories, 250, 250, 250. They're all good. We'll take a couple of more cans. Back to the ranch. Ooh, a granola bar. There you go. Eat. Why not? Eat it. I know you're feeling queasy, but this is heavy work. There's lots of food left over. Lots of food left over in this place. It might not be our time. It might not be Perry's time to thrive. But we can certainly hope that somebody comes across this. And licorice is a particular favorite of Perry's. Fresh produce at the front, which will go stale. And if somebody comes across us and finds our map, we can s hopefully they can read into that, that it's clear. 12.50. Now, have we got a bit of time to go down the back here? If we hop the fence, I think we would lose our bag. And we do have a couple of friends in the street. That even after what they witnessed... They're still going to dare to take on Perry? Oh yeah, it really looks like Perry's not in the mood anymore. He's not in the mood for any games. Oh, another car, another vehicle. The irony. The irony of th these things that could have meant a future. Could, could they still mean a future? Is there such a thing as a cure? Harry doesn't know whether there is or not. You're in pain, boy. Before these zombies get on top of you, take a painkiller. Here comes blue baseball hat. Again, they're still going down. Even with a severe injury, these zombies are still going down. Pretty quick. Quick bandage change. Ooh. Let's get rid of the earrings. Was that one that was sat there? Was that the one that was sat against the, the building? I think it was. This one's got a for sale sign outside, so I don't know how much would be in there still. Has the removal men been in? It looks like it. First glance. A couple of boxes. This is what we're looking for though. Potentially. The lock is broken. Of course it is. Quick cigarette out front. Clear some of that anxiety. We're going to have to deal with these. No two ways about it. Nothing behind us. Taking a little detour there. That's it, Perry. Give him the business. Sick and tired of these animals. I know they were once people. But they're not anymore. Broken windshield. Broken door still. Broken lock. Can we force one of these windows? Oh dear. House alarm. 
means zombies will be attracted to that. And we'll get a little bit of a hustle on. Time to head back to the ranch, I believe. He's queasy. He's sweating. He's overheating. I can't hop a fence because we'll drop our bag behind us. Is that zombie going for the alarm or have they spotted us? No, they haven't spotted us, I don't think. We're moving away. It's out of our earshot now. We're in. Perry, Perry, Perry. What are you doing to us, eh? What are you doing to us? Got your duct tape there. I think we're going to need that, though. What's up? What shape is our hammer in? It's okay. We can do a little bit of a repair job on it. That might be the last of it, though. No? Another repair job? There we go. And now the pain is kicking in again. We take a pill. We keep him comfy. Did we pick up any books that need transferring? We'll keep the cooking book on us. Nope. Pain. There we go. Goes away, finally. Kicks in. Put your hammer away, boy. Fill your water bottle up. And in the cupboard where you had your tins, there you go. There it is. I wanted to double check. So we keep the licorice on us. We love licorice. Perry loves licorice. We'll keep the granola bars and the licorice on us for a little quick snack. We'll put some longer term cans, marmalade. We'll keep. We'll eat the fresh salmon now. Let's eat like a king. Let's have a late lunch, Perry. Why not? I think we spend the rest of the day in the house. That house alarm was an issue. We haven't cleared that house as such. But we've opened the window. So we're not going to put the marker on it. We've opened the window. The alarm, I'm thinking, will die out. So this could be a good time to get in front of the TV. Sit down. And maybe work our way through a little bit of our book. Just to take our mind off things. Or at least until the pain kicks in. We need to change our bandage, etc. You know the drill. But I believe he needs a bit more of an easier afternoon, early evening. The bandage is okay. Pain is in, though. So let's pop a pill. Get back to your book. Nearly finished it, Pez. Anxious. So let's, let's have a ciggy. We don't want to stand in his way of anything now. We don't want to deny Perry anything. This could be, it's horrible to say, his, his final few days? Day? Two days? We don't know. We're going to treat it like there is a cure potentially around the corner. An evacuation from the military. Someone with a cure rocks up in a heli. Perry doesn't know. His favorite program has started. Who said blokes can't multitask? Tears through the book whilst watching his favorite program. Takes a painkiller and walks over to his temporary trash can where he can deposit said book, now read. Tired, but not phenomenally tired. Let's have a look if we've got any other level ones. First aid, I mean... If we're going to find anything out that might help us in this predicament, it could be the first aid book is the key. I want him to be ridiculously tired before we go to bed. And I want the body clock timed in a way so that we wake up and get the best hours of daylight as we carry on clearing out the streets in the vicinity. Maybe for other survivors. Maybe it's our last good deed that we can do. So let's get him up to... 8.30. Really tired now. Hungry. We've we've put a bit of a dent in the book. Now nauseous. And let's get rid of these moodles one by one. Starting with the pain. 
Let's eat some mixed vegetables. Why not? They're raw. Nothing wrong with that, though. And as we're going upstairs, we're down to our last... Oh, we've lost our matches or lighters. Oh, no. Well, that's something we've got to go and look for, then. Maybe in one of those houses in the street parallel is where we'll find another source. If we go to bed at 9 p.m. Not ridiculously tired. Let's see what time Perry wakes up to face the world. He is now really a nervous wreck and terrified. It seems like he is losing his mind slowly. Discomfort. Something doesn't feel right. And I think I can guess what that something might be. Let's go back to that for sale. The house that was for sale. We've got granola bars and licorice. And we're going to take a can of sardines with us as well. Um, 5, 10 a.m. We've got a bit of light to work with. Let's get the hammer out. I don't really want to jump the fence because the fences are so high. We're probably going to lose our garbage bag. Let's deal with this clown first. You're on our street now. What are you doing? What are you doing on our street? This is Perry's street. These are my end times. I'm already losing my mind. I'm a nervous wreck. Nauseous. We're going to remove our bandage in the middle of the street again. Add some alcohol wipes. Let's try and make Perry as comfortable as possible. It says severe damage. It goes from moderate to severe, I notice. Let's at least keep him covered up. Not bleeding. Get more in infected in a microbiotic way rather than a zombification way. <laughs> more trespassers on our street. I just think you can rock up to Perry Avenue, do you? Make it your own. I don't think so. Who's this? Liam Gallagher? Just leave him there. Let him roll with it. Let's go and at least see if there's any long-term damage in terms of the Zeds. Ooh, because of, I was going to say, because of that alarm. There are more surgical zombies here now. But we've got no need to clear that out. But like I say, for other survivors, from a, a completely unselfish perspective, the more of these we kill, the more of a legacy, even if it's just a mini legacy, we could leave behind for Perry. Old Pezza. It could be that Perry is just the first protagonist in a number of tales, a number of people's stories that we will see unfold. drawn attention now, hasn't he? He's drawn the streets worth of attention. Take a beta blocker. Ooh. Get rid of some of that panic. Move to the familiar surroundings of his own street. say maybe another final stand ladies one at a time please plenty of parry to go around but this one doesn't come with mayonnaise or any other condiments of your choosing not today again 
I'm not quite ready. Pop another pill. Move on. No, none of these carrying lighters or matches so we can at least give our guy a smoke he deserves in this predicament that he finds himself in. Bitten. Probably turning. Oh my lord. I think we just slipped past those. No, we didn't. But how many did we bring across? Is it just you? If it's just you, that's a win for Perry. And God knows he deserves one. Can we get rid of him? As quietly as possible. And maybe... Can we get into the back of this building without the crowd out front noticing? Oh, this house alarm did bring people in. When I say people, I mean quite a lot of those things. But would you believe none of them seem to be ex-smokers? Pre-apocalypse. Play the game. I still got a bit, a bit of, bit of about him, Perry. this Perry I've got a few more fights in you yet I feel it I can feel it another small victory for Perry and for those who are yet to turn windows smashing all around us I seem to be finding everybody who was in a nicotine anonymous group before the zombie apocalypse. None of them smokers. Muldra. What a, what a clean town it was. Look at the group at the front. What does it look like at the back? Is it any better? He was doing his Jane Fonda workout when the shit hit the fan. Oh my god, there's there's more around the back. There's more. If we make too much noise, those out the front might join the party. It might just be too much for our boy. The days had. Look at those moodles. Leave me alone. Let me fill my bottles up. Let me open some sardines. Let me eat them. We still haven't got any way of lighting a cigarette. So we're going to litter. We're going to take some more pills. And unbelievably, even after all of that, our boy is telling us he's bored. Really? Read the book then. You're about to perish in the zombie apocalypse. You're telling me you're bored. There's one outside the window. I did see him. God, we messed that up. We still got our glasses on. I don't think we've even got our glasses on. Have they got knocked off our head? In a fight. Yeah, they did. 
So our peripheral vision's not the best. We'll borrow those for a sec. Thank you. Foraging number one, I think we did need. I can't believe I'm still picking up books in this predicament. Oh my god, there was one right by us. Look. Inside. Was being the correct phrase. We'll take the key. Is there anything left in the cupboards? Oh my word, it's just teasing him. More cigarettes. Food. Oh my god, the key for the car. He's joking. The key for the car. This is just absolutely taking the Michael. He moves upstairs. He's just going to be met with empty rooms. Videos. Don't need to ask what's on those. None of my business. A replacement bandage for all the ones we've used so far. These are, that's excellent. More beta blockers. I'm going to turn down any pills in this predicament. Good timing to check the bandage. Again, disinfect the wound. He's clinging on. He is clinging on. Look at his health going down as the bandage comes off. And then it just stops in time. Just in time. Dirty rag on the floor. And that is a hell of a little last stand from Perry. It isn't over yet. But how much more of this can this man, legend that he is, take? I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.